we got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? I have a headache. Let's let's roll with this. Let's do this. All right. Sloop picks week 12. Week 12 is here. Let's get into the uh, six games here. If you want to listen to our seventh one, where we pick Ohio State and Minnesota, check out Thursday's episode while we do the Know Your Enemies over Jared's Golden Gophers. All right, let's head it. Let's not, start it off with Michigan and Maryland, Jared. Um, this is a noon game on Fox. Michigan is a 19 and a half point favorite in this game, Jared. Yeah. Yeah, 19 and a half points. You you said you said I you're afraid you made me think there was a question coming. You, you know, Fine, you're, I'll go I'll go. I'll go. You, you wanted Maryland. me to pick. Is that what you were doing? I did. I was leading it up to you, but you didn't All right. I'm, I'm just going to start us off here. So Maryland, Maryland not not the uh, not the offensive powerhouse that we thought they could have been this year. 19 and a half. They're, they're, they're not going to. They're not going to be able to cover that. So I got, I got Michigan to cover in this game. Yeah. Um, th- through this entire scandal, Michigan has cast themselves. And I believe they believe it as like the victim through this entire scandal. Somehow, somehow they're the victim for being caught anyway um but they have fully embraced this um victim mentality that they have going on uh they believe they have something to prove and i think uh whatever this angst is in them right now i i think they're going to uh, fully take it out on on maryland uh michigan by 30. All right, and Odin here. Odin says Maryland cover, but lose by fourteen. He has thirty five twenty one in this game. God, if it's only yeah, if it's is that yeah, I'd be I'd be surprised if if Maryland uh, put up that many points. Um, yeah, I would too. All right, next game also a nooner, Louisville and Miami. Uh, surprised to see this this stat here. Uh, Louisville is only a one and a half point favorite in this game here. Uh, yeah, I got the Cardinals. I got the Cardinals to cover. Pretty much a pick 'em. So it's a near pick 'em at one point five. Um, you have Louisville, who is um a, a top ten team with a nine and one record. Miami just feels like a super mid 6.4 middle of the conference sort of team. Feels like it, it, this feels like a setup, I think is what I'm trying to get at. Like it feels picking Louisville here is so obvious that it it feels like a setup. It's it's, it's obvious, it's too obvious. I'm going to go uh Hurricanes to win and cover. Right. And e- Odin. Exactly, Zach. Yeah. Odin Odin is uh saying the same thing here as you. Louisville doesn't press me. Miami by seven. 24-17. Like I don't understand why you guys are so high on Miami here. Like it's not that we're high on Miami, it's that we don't care about Louisville. I, I think it's I think it's more it's not the it's not it's not it's not like an abundance of Miami or of Louisville respect. It's a it's a it's not an abundance. No, I said it right this the first is, time. It's not an abundance of Miami is, respect. It's a it's a lack of Louisville respect. They only put up six against NC State. They lost to Georgia Tech. They won by three to Virginia. I'm sorry. They. No, no, I, I, I cannot pick Miami. Sorry. Hey, Louisville, Louisville wins by a field goal. That's a cover. 
All right, next game here, 330. You got Georgia and Tennessee. Uh, 330 kickoff. Georgia is a 10 and a half point favorite. Why, why, why is Tennessee still ranked? <laughs> what what have they what have they done to they yeah, beat what, what have they, what, what, what have they done? Uh, okay, who hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> who hasn't? Yeah, Zach, they were pretty. Why. They were they were they were a no show against Missouri. Yeah, he lost by almost thirty points to Missouri. Yep. Uh, they were they were pretty non competitive against Alabama. Um, oh. They lost to Florida. Yeah, they Spikes lost to Florida that pretty out bad. Too. Um, hey, Jared, actually, uh, no, they didn't beat Florida. <laughs> You're right. Yes, yes, they did lose to Florida too. Their their best victory, Jared. I'm looking. I'm looking here. Who is their best win? Uh, you're Virginia? looking at the schedule. Oh, don't Virginia. Tell me don't don't tell me it's Virginia. Don't tell me it's Virginia. Texas A and M. I'm sorry, Texas A and M, who still has their head coach. Oh no, wait. Yeah. Okay, I, I guess Kentucky. I guess Kentucky oh, yeah, is their be best Kentucky. win. Yeah, it would be Kentucky. Yeah, Georgia. Georgia to cover. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, first thing I wrote here, Kyle, Tennessee has been regularly overrated uh, all year. Uh, literally the first thing I wrote. Um, Georgia, on the other hand, seems to be peaking. Um, they they seem to be uh, catching momentum and peaking at the right time. Their offense uh, appears to actually be functional, which is saying something compared to where it was at the beginning of the season. Um, Georgia has been terrible against the spread. However, this year, um, the, the exception to that, however, uh, when they are playing a team with an actual pulse, which is an actual metric and an actual statistic that you can look up a team with a pulse. No, it's not. Um, they're three and one against the spread. So they, they just, they weren't covering big spreads early against crappy teams. They started to play good teams later. They started covering the spread. Um, Georgia wins by at least 17. All right. I, and and Odin for the record, when I say at least 17, I mean, at least 17. I'm, I, I, I would put, if I had to put money on, if I had to, if I were putting the spread on this game, I'd have put this, I would have put it like 24.5. Right, and Odin has Georgia to cover as well. He has Georgia to win by 21. That, that sounds about right. What I'm thinking, like they win by like 20 points or something. Zach says, hot take, we'd beat Georgia. We could beat yeah. Georgia. Everybody's I, I won't say we would or will beat Georgia, but we could beat Georgia. We can beat Georgia. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't think we'd be at 50% um, or better. Uh, but I, I'm just, I'm just very worried about our ability to stop the run right now. And I don't feel, I don't feel like we match up well against Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Next up is Georgia. Weirdly, Georgia. I'd rather play Bama. That. I just I feel like we match up um, better against Bama. We, all right, Oregon and Arizona State, four o'clock on Fox. Oregon is a twenty-two and a half point favorite in this game, and that's not enough. That's not enough. I, Oregon is just gonna is just gonna run away with this one. I got I got the Ducks to cover. I I think they could win by like thirty five plus in this game. Um, down which which they which they may which they may because right now they're gonna they're 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 needing some style points right now and to win out and to beat uh, Washington in the in the conference championship game too. So they're they're in they're in. Hey, we need we need some style points mode right now. I I think they're winning in. 
I, the they should. I think they if should. they win the if they win the Pac-12, they're in because. So I, want, or, I want to save that to, to win, I want to save that to the at, I want to save that to the okay, end of okay, of this okay, here. There's okay. there's that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's a good call. Um, down in the chat, Woody says only team in the top ten that concerns me would be Oregon. Well, Woody, well, the Georgia, first Georgia does. The first thing I wrote uh, in my pick was everyone in the country is hoping Oregon doesn't make the playoffs. So y- you and I are pretty aligned with with that thought process. Um, but despite their loss, they control their own destiny. Uh, 22.5 is a big number, but Oregon's score differential average is about 26 points per game. Give me the Ducks. Bo Nix right, and- in year 12 could win the CFP. Wild to think about. All right. Odin says Oregon wins by 49. They look so dominant. I'd be surprised if they don't win out like 52 to three. There you go. All right. Uh, next game here, Washington and Oregon State, a battle of top 10. I think Oregon State finished up as a as a top 10 in the latest uh rankings here i forget i forget where they ranked uh they did in the oregon AP. state is 11th they are wow. 11th almost ap almost. put them 10 yeah they did um let's see here uh washington is a half point underdog so it's a pick em. it's a pick em here yeah um who you got jared Oregon has Oregon State rather uh, has a really unique opportunity both this week and next to to play some spoil, not just play the spoiler. I think a lot of people might. Frame it as to play the spoiler, but. They have the opportunity still to win the Pac-12. They play Washington this week, obviously, that's the game we're picking and they play Oregon next week. they they still need they still need a lot they still need a lot of help because Washington Washington right now ha- Washington's undefeated right Oregon State has two losses so if they if they lose oh no oh, yes they they but have they a chance to play Oregon if they, they play Oregon if they win if Oregon State um, if well, they win the next two weeks, Kyle, they t- they give Washington their first conference yep. loss. They give Oregon their second conference loss. They would not just mm-hmm. make the conference championship game, but be the home seed in it. How crazy would that be? Well, <laughs> and like I said, in order to do that, they have to beat Washington this week and Oregon next week. So, um, when Washington needs to lose back to back weeks too, then. Which they're 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 not going to. <laughs> um, Washington plays Washington State. Oh yeah, at the end of the year. Yeah, my my mistake. I thought I thought Oregon State's other loss was out of conference. That that's my mistake. So they wouldn't be number one seed. They wouldn't be home seed in the championship game. But they still would make the championship game anyway. Um, a lot of chaos that can happen. A lot of golf left. Uh, Oregon State has. Uh, uh, Oregon State's been much better against the spread this year, but does that uh, compared to Washington? But does that even matter in this case when it's basically a pick 'em? Does against the spread metrics and numbers and records really matter when it's basically a pick 'em? Um, I think Washington too often this year has been cutting it too close. Um, I, I think they've yeah it's, they've been cutting it too close for too long their day comes on Saturday. Um, I was about to say Oregon state to win and cover, but it's one and the same in this particular case. So Oregon state to win. You know, I have my, I have my doubts in this game here. Uh, I you to pick. I have some doubts to, I have some doubts on who, who's going to win this game, but what's, what's one of our rules, Jared, when in doubt, pick the quarterback. Pick the quarterback, and I'm going to go, and I'm picking Penix here. I'm picking Penix here, so I'm going to, going to pick the Huskies in this one. 
All right. What's Odin say? Washington, Washington, Oregon won't be as exciting as we may think. Amazing. The spread is, is a half point. No way. I will be 20 on it. That Washington Bet. wins by. He, he forgot the T. Oh. I think it's supposed to be bet 20. On okay. It. No way. I will bet 20 on it. That Washington wins by 17. He has 27 to 10 Washington. All right. Uh, before we move on to our sixth pick, I just want to congratulate the both of us for making it all the way through there without making a Penix slash Beaver joke. So just congratulations to us. We're clearly getting older. Um, uh, next and last game. All right. Last game here is Texas and Iowa State. Ooh, now, now I see why I see why Jared's going for this game here. Texas is a seven and a half point favorite picked, in this game. Kyle, I picked I picked this game because the the pickings were slim. The pickings are slim, but don't 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 look away here. If Iowa State wins this game, they're they have a real real shot at making it to the Big Twelve championship game. If if they if they win, there are there are so you got Texas at the top. That just says, Texas at, wow, <laughs> Big Twelve is shit. Yeah, yeah, you Texas. You got Tech. You got Texas at the very top, six and one in conference. Yeah, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Iowa State, Kansas State, all five and two. Now, yeah. uh, now Iowa State. Did lose to Oregon, or not Oregon, did lose to Oklahoma, but did beat Oklahoma State. Right. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I, I, th- I think I think you said it best. Uh, yeah, wow. The Big 12 is shit this year. I got it's, Iowa it's State worth, to cover. It's worth I got, noting. I got, I, I, got Iowa St- I got Iowa State to cover. I think, I think this is one of those games where we typically see Iowa State giving giving a top tier team some troubles and i th- i think this is that game it's it is at Iowa State i think i think i think that it game is a may night it been. is a night game it is a night game here i th- i think i think i think the cyclones are going to have some or some magic here and, and keep it real close so i i i got i got Iowa State to cover at least okay um Iowa State beat Oklahoma State, but that was as the that was the beginning half of the year for Oklahoma State. Back when they were awful, and not the middle part of the year where they were pretty good. And now, uh, based on last week at least, I think we're moving back into another another awful phase. But they 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 didn't play them in the good Oklahoma State phase. Uh, let's take that for what it's worth. Um, but the only other top teams they played this year, meaning Iowa State, uh, are Oklahoma and Kansas, where they lost by 70, or excuse me, by 30 and 7. Uh, the, 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 compar- the really, truly comparable team here is Texas, and they lost that game by 30. Using that as a bit of a, a, bit of a metric, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Texas here to win and cover. Um, also, let me throw this in just because we're here. Quinn Ewers returning for Texas next year. 90% sure. He's returning. If he's returning next year, you're, you're going to see, you're going to see a transfer of Manning out of there. Manning, I, I Manning's going to be gone. I, I don't know if this is copium or not. I, I don't know if this is copium or not, but but I did read some Texas people saying that the plan was always for Arch to start in year three and that the the quarterback who's been playing in Ewers stead when he was hurt was supposed to be the quarterback next year. Anyway, this is from a Texas fan after the news that Quinn Ewers. So I, 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 I it might be copium is all I'm saying. I don't know. Um, Arch Manning, 
transfer question mark mm-hmm. yeah keep i'll, I'll, I'll say the one thing that makes it at least slightly believable and i've said this on the podcast before archie manning played very small high school football he did not play against the best high school competition and therefore it's been it was it was understood it is it was understood that he was not going to be a a quick to start guy now that to me meant he wasn't going to play as a freshman not that he would sit for two years but i guess we'll see how that goes yeah all right and odin says here he has texas winning 30 to 17 iowa state don't 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 impress me that much uh about Shania. Did Shania Twain there. Yeah. Uh, Kansas looked bad, yet they still dominated them. So I can't see this game being close outside the first quarter. There you go. Um. Yeah, that's it. Um. I think that's almost the show, Kyle. But but before we do that, um. You wanted to talk about. Yeah, I, I started talking about playoff stuff and then you you blocked me. So where's your where's your head at on that? As far as I was saying, Oregon controls their okay, destiny so, in. Um, so we're, we're three we're three weeks away from the from the final from the final um, rankings being announced. We're three weeks away. Yeah. A lot of chaos. There, there, there was a, there was a lot of talk. There's a lot of talk about, oh, well, Big Ten could have two teams making it in. SEC, the SEC, have, yeah, the we, SEC. We could talked have, about could this pretty teams. extensively on Tuesday. But with with the rankings um, coming out, Georgia one, Ohio State two, Michigan three, and Florida State four. Scenario wise, scenario wise, yeah. Let's let's just. Ohio State, let's just say Ohio State or Michigan wins out. Let's yeah. They're they're in. Big no Ten questions champion. Ask. And we'll, are we just going to assume that they beat Iowa? Yes. All right. Uh, Big Ten champion. Winner, SEC champion in, Georgia or Alabama in. Two spots. Okay. Oh, okay, let's, hold, 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 for, hold, for the sake hold, of simplicity, hold, hold, hold. let's not even entertain an Iron Bowl upset. Yes. Let's let's just say they they win out Alabama Alabama or Georgia wins the SEC championship game. One of those are in. Florida State runs the table, wins the ACC undefeated. They're in. The winner of Washington and Oregon, assuming they win out, is in. Right. I agree. There is no, there is no second Big Ten. There is no second SEC. Sure, but but we're playing the, and we do this every year. And this is another thing we talked we about do. on Tuesday. We do. we do this every year. If this team wins out, if that team wins out, we it's like it's like for the last two or three weeks of the season, we just all forget the team chaos is is looming and waiting for all of us all the time. That death is coming for all of us. All right, chaos is coming. Listen, do I think that there's exactly Zach? Do I think that there's much of a chance that that Tennessee beats Georgia? No, I honestly don't. But it could happen. Do I think that there's much of a chance that Auburn beats Bama in the Iron Bowl? Not really. But it could happen. Maybe Maryland upsets Michigan this week. Does that sound absurd? Sure does. I've seen crazier shit. Michigan almost lost to Bowling Green until they went into half, figured out what the signals were, and fixed it. Um, you know, we 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 keep gifting these teams wins. Oregon State. I'm gonna say this. Oregon State, if they don't pull an upset this week, they probably do it next week. I feel like Oregon State wins one of these two games. 
Oregon State's good enough. They can they can give them yeah. two chances. Why not two for two? I said at least, and if I didn't say at least, pretend that I did. Make things messy. Oh, that that would be some. I mean, we're still we still wouldn't be like 2007 messy, but it's still that that'd make things pretty messy. But really, what it would do is just knock the Pac-12 out of the playoffs. It would actually kind of clean things up. Um. But then it not actually not really the, the cleanest thing would just be to put four conference champions in. Anyway, um, I, I get what you're saying, Kyle, but we need to stop gifting teams wins. All right. That's fair. By the way, Louisville could that's beat fair. Florida. Louisville could beat Florida State in the ACC championship game. That's just another one to throw out there. Do you think it's ridiculous that Iowa particularly upset Michigan? If no. I feel like from a matchup standpoint, that feels more likely than Iowa upsetting Ohio State based off of matchups. Um, uh, all I'm saying is, is that there's a lot of chaos waiting for us. And if we knew it was coming, it wouldn't be chaos. That's what makes chaos chaos. It's, it's not, we don't, we don't call it chaos when a undefeated team beats another undefeated team. We call it chaos when a six and four team knocks out a top 10 team. That's my point. Dark. Unless it's Kentucky. Well, Kentucky's Kentucky. All right. The, the other thing we want to talk about since we have some time here. America's team, Jared. Is this, the, is this the thing you wanted to talk about at the end of last is, episode? Yes. It is yes. Let's, America's team. But let's 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 talk about let's talk about everything that happened over the weekend here since we didn't really talk about it in Monday or Tuesday's episode just because. I'm sorry, what are the cowboys? Why are we talking about the, the cowboys? <laughs> ah, yes, or the Yankees? The Yankees? We're talking about baseball, Jared. Talking about baseball. Talking about practice. Ah. <laughs> uh, the Lakers, by the way, it's Notre Dame. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to say this. If there is an quote unquote America's team in college football, it's Notre Dame. Cause we all know that one guy who likes the Cowboys, the Yankees and the Notre Dame fighting Irish and either the Lakers or the Celtics. Duke basketball. Yeah, they 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 have a they have a different favorite team for college football and college basketball. That person. That person's a Notre Dame fan. Uh yeah, probably probably Man U. Arsenal sure, but almost certainly Man U. Yeah, definitely Man U. Well, I mean I mean, if you're going to be Arsenal, if, if, if you have people that's being introduced to to European soccer or football right now, it's it's Manchester City. Like that's that's the hot team right now. Yeah. Man City and Poser either, so, so, Spike says. So our so our ball here, three games suspend, three games suspension or three ga three games that he can't come onto the sideline here. Yeah. Suspended for the second time this year. By it's got to be a record. second time this year. Got to be a record. I, I think I think I've seen this float around. I think I've seen this float around a lot. Though, he has he has more he has more suspensions or time number of times he's been suspended than he does uh, Owens. Yeah. Yeah. He's been suspended so I, more I, times I, this I, I, season. I, I, this is. This is only the beginning, honestly. This is this has to be just the beginning, like of all the evidence that the NCAA showed the Big Ten. Big Ten says, "Yeah, this this is a big deal, especially since this is still ha was still happening this year. They had to do something right now." And three games of uh, game day suspension, uh, I thought was, in my opinion, I think a slap on the wrist. Honestly, the I, th I think I think they could have. I think they could have gone a lot. Just that's just 
That's just the Big Ten, though. It, it is just the Big Ten, though. That that's just but the I'm, Big I'm, Ten. The the Big Ten. Uh, here's what you have to remember. Here's what you have to remember. The commissioner of the Big Ten is using the powers given to him by the universities for him to punish the universities. Did everyone follow that? He's using the limitations given by the schools that he has to punish the schools. Meaning he doesn't, he doesn't own a hammer. It's not that he owns a hammer and chose not to hit Michigan with it. He doesn't own a hammer. I think the worst thing he could do is like, I think he technically has the ability to like TV ban him, but that sure as shit is never happening. Yeah. That's not well, happening. I saw, I saw, I saw something that he, he got the approval from the, from the board to do the suspension. So it wasn't just from the, just from the commissioner. Like he got, he got the approval from the, from the board I, to I do under, that as well. I understand that, but even so his there, so power, no, 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 I, I totally get that. Even his powers to punish the teams with the board's support. <laughs> it's still somewhat limited compared to what the NCAA can do. The NCAA, and by the way, let's just say, and I'm not a hundred, I don't a hundred percent remember all the big 10 rules for this. Let's say that he does have the ability to postseason ban Michigan. Well, guess what? That's costing everybody money. That's pissing off Fox. Uh, it actually probably wouldn't piss off Fox. Fox doesn't care about the playoffs this year, but it would uh, and you just get Ohio state instead in the big 10 championship game, which is just as good, if not better TV wise. Um, but he's not going to do anything that cost other members money and fucking with Fox is part of that. So, you know, no TV bans. No, I don't. It's, there's only so much he can do either by the rules or by the other follow-up consequences that come from it. The hammer th this is sometimes you get the immediate punishment and then the long-term punishment, the immediate result, you get a little bit of a bonus up front, but the rest of the paychecks coming later. Mm -hmm. This is just, a, this is just a I signing bonus. The, the paycheck is still coming. The NCAA is the one with the hammer. Yeah. And, and, there, and there's, there's a lot of, a lot of talk and mainly it's, it's just Michigan fans. It's just Michigan fans and, and the people at the university too, where they're like, Oh, it's not a big deal or everybody yeah, does this or there's no, care. there's I, no I evidence. Care. Nobody's, nobody's presented evidence and all that. Like, it's like, it's like, Everybody, everybody wanted wanted Ohio State to be punished with the whole Jim Trestle lying to the NCAA. Sure. Like th this, the accusations here, and if what the NCAA is saying that they have proof here, and when they're ready to present it, and um, definitely shows that the university and and or Harbaugh knew of this. And lied about it. He doesn't. He doesn't it, have it is, to know it is, about it. Per, it is. It is per, far worse. Far worse than than Trestle lying about improper benefits from a few from a few uh, athletes. Well, they, they won't get the they won't get the death penalty. The death penalty will never happen. Michigan yeah, yeah, they already to lied the to the Big that, Ten. That, yeah, there, there's sure. there's a number of times already, like in the Big Ten statements, saying. Uh, Pretty much saying when Michigan's like, oh, we we've never we've never seen this, or we never we never got this kind of notice. And Big Ten's like, uh, shut your mouth. Yeah, you did. Look, look back at look at back at our um at our previous statement here. You guys didn't even bother looking Listen, at it. Uh, for, first off, I don't care what Michigan fans have to say. They're reacting. Their their team is being attacked. They're defending their team. That's Ohio State fans. I would say would do the same, but have done the same, continue to do the same. 
that's fine. And they're going to be like, oh, well, there's no evidence. Which is just it's a thing you see whenever it comes to anything that has to do with legal stuff and public stuff. That just because the evidence isn't out there and publicly available, that that means it doesn't exist. It's just it's a thing you see in discourse all the time. If I haven't seen the evidence or if I don't understand the evidence, then the evidence doesn't exist. It's just it's just a thing you see in online discourse. It's it's just people grasping at straws. It's people being stupid. Um, that that's all I have to say about Michigan fans. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't and I don't like the, I don't like playing the compare the- I don't like playing the compare game as far as it was you know Tatgate and this because on well, one well, hand they're very comparable and on another hand they're not and I would say. And I, I don't know if Ohio State fans will like this. The the primary difference between Tatgate and Spygate Two, Electric Boogaloo, um, is that this went on for two and a half years, whereas Ohio State's quote unquote crimes took place over the course of one season. That's the primary difference, well, in my opinion, because well, in both also, cases, Jer- in both cases, what you have is a coach intentionally cheating, knowingly cheating to win. That's why I say that they're comparable. Tatgate but, and I mean, Spygate to Electric Boogaloo are comparable simply because it involves a coach cheating, knowingly cheating and lying in order to but this, win. But, but this is but it's this also is so, one this is so much worse because two. eh this is this is this is so much worse because you are you're taking advantage not take well you're you're steal you're stealing signs to give yourself an advantage. And Jim Tressel played players who weren't allowed to be out there in order to have an advantage. But that's just a few it's players versus 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 knowing a few, the Kyle, actual plays. Kyle, though. you saw you saw the drop off from prior to Beckman. Don't it was just a few players, me. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Don't, <laughs> don't also Devere Posey, also Boom Heron, also uh Mike Adams, who was our second best offensive tackle on that team. Um Bowserman, yes. Um don't it was just a few don't. In the broadest strokes. You have a head coach knowingly cheating in order to win football games. The primary difference is the length in which this took place. Jim Tressel's responsible for cheating during a entire season. Harbaugh and Spygate to Electric Boogaloo is over two and a half seasons. You're grasping at equal length straws. Thank you, Duncan. I'm not even 100% sure what that means, but it made me laugh. But bottom bottom line, this, I mean, yeah, NCAA tends to take a long time for these things. So, well, here, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see how long it really takes NCAA to. I, I think to present. Not, okay, so first off, not this year. But also, but also faster than you're expecting. So one of the things I like to remind people, Harbaugh was suspended for the first three games of this season because of things he did in the year 2020, just to give you an indication of how long these things normally take. Now, do I think this is going to take three years? No, I don't. Why? Well, because other people have gathered evidence for the NCAA, like the the investigation was completed or not completed, but at least taken to the goal line by other parties. So a lot of the work's been done. Um, It's one of the reasons why I have a bit of hope that you know, you could see this resolved during this off season. Um, I also I th- think, I think every, I think everybody, 
everybody other than Michigan fans is hoping that like it's like the whole thing would what I would hope for it if I was heart heart I listen uh, we said like this. The, whole, the whole thing that Harbaugh said here it just it's just it's like he's in a total different universe he's like we're America's team like America America likes America likes um likes this and did, 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 did. can I say like, something no, in Harbaugh America def- America America doesn't like cheaters America America doesn't like people who lie just mm. just mm. stop just stop you're playing the victim you're being that you're being the victim i don't there. agree just with stop. either of those points but whatever um well, we're, we're, we're not we're not a we're not a political uh <laughs> uh channel listen, here Jared, people could so. people could interpret that to either side and be right so no yes, this isn't correct a, okay um correct uh, no. lobby time no we're still recording believe it or not sun card <laughs> um but yeah it's but it, it listen, just, can he, I give, can I give Harbaugh his, credit for something? He's living in his own universe. Can I give, Harbaugh, cre- own- can I give Harbaugh credit for something? No, you can't. No, you can't, Jared. He reversed his opinion on a chicken being a nervous bird. <laughs> I don't know what that means exactly. But he did. Apparently he has chickens too, Duncan. Or he's at least had exposure to chickens or something. I don't know. He... He's he's very hard to listen to. I'm just saying. Expo- yeah, chicken exposure. He's had chicken exposure. Um, apparently, when you walk around with hot dogs in your pocket. It attracts chickens. Is that a way to say people snitched? Uh, um, no. I mean, it could be. I didn't intend it that way. Um, but it could be. I mean, the world is yours, man. All right, Kyle. Anything else you want to say about Michigan? Is Harbaugh that deep, or Harbaugh isn't that deep? Uh, yeah, exactly. I think that's 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 a good way of saying. Was, it. was Ryan Day involved? I wish with the chickens with the hot dogs um with what what no part of no to the last five no minutes are you referring to no to those jared <laughs> all right Kyle, are we done here we talked about the playoffs we talked about harbaugh we did our oh, we did our six picks um what, what's your what's your um What's your chaos pick here? Like, is there is there a team here that's I, Miami. that could beat a ranked team? I, I already I already kind of made it. It's Miami. It's my, Miami's it's Miami, beating right? Louisville. Uh, what what are some other games here? Just just going down just going down the list. Maryland beating Michigan. I no no. no. Rutgers beating Penn State. Ah. <gasps> <laughs> it makes you think. Nah, not really. For I, Ohio State's sake, no. Uh, <laughs> they beat both those teams. Let's see. Well, Illinois. Yeah. Illinois beat Iowa. I mean, I'm weekend. not going to say no to that. <laughs> Only thing Illinois really well, we, has to do to win that game is is score like three touchdowns. Clemson, Clemson over North Carolina. I guess that technically counts as chaos. Where's North Carolina right now? Like 20 something? 20th. 20th. Okay. Uh Houston over Oklahoma State. Gonna I'm gonna pass on that one. Florida over Missouri. <laughs> no. Uh I don't think so. Keep an eye out for Iowa State. It's not State ridiculous, over but I don't think Iowa so. Iowa State. Keep an eye out Iowa State yeah. versus Texas. That one could could that, be a potential yeah. close game. I, that that could happen. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'll, you know, you know, just because of how low scoring they they typically are here, I'm, and how, and how well um, this other team's playing, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the Fighting Burts. I'll go with the Fighting Burts on this one. For for everyone playing at home, he's saying that Illinois will upset Iowa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's 
for, for those of you who are not super into college football deep minutia lore that's him picking a, illinois to beat iowa um will kyle get his punt return this week kyle no <laughs> <laughs> apparently no apparently the answer is no can, can can ohio state get a punt return that's more than 10 yards they got 11 <laughs> last week they did get 11 last week I don't think that was cumulative either. I think it was just the one. Uh, and cumulative. Uh, <laughs> I, it, may, it may have been the only return. If I, I don't remember, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I think it's a. I think I think we can call that an episode there. I think I think we I think we uh, had enough fun at the end here. <laughs> I think we covered all the bases plus several other bases. So. Um, Kyle, and, was there the anything? That, yes, Jared. It was a total of eleven yards, <laughs> but it was all. But it was one return, right? It was. Yes. Okay. Um. Yes, shenanigans. We are. We're. We're into shenanigans territory. Y'all are going to be so happy when I bring back the shenanigans episode in <laughs> January. I swear to God. Oh, by the way, I'm bringing back shenanigans episode in January. Um. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Kyle, is there anything? Could there be anything left in, in Kyle's corner? I, I feel like it's empty at this point. I feel like you've emptied the corner. I did. Yeah, there's there's there is there is nothing over here. There's a chair. There is a chair I, there. There's a chair there. Sorry. Uh, there's a chair. All right. That's it. That's the end of the episode. Join the discord server or don't. I'm not your mother. That's it. That's the plug. Uh, tonight's ending music is Pray for Sleep, which I am doing in my head right now. The name of the band, once again, Pray for Sleep. So with all that being said, I would like everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, sports local podcasters. Once again, this is Pray for Sleep. <laughs>